be called soaking it all up, babe. She is sound asleep. Sound asleep. Looking straight up. Arm hanging off the couch. Not a care in the world. Life's good. In the meantime, Dixie's like, what time am I gonna be let out? And then, you look over and there's Huck, stuck in the fence again, saying, what time am I gonna be let out? Mm -hmm. It's still fairly early. We have a lot of goats are still laid up. They haven't even gotten up today to go start their routine. Or, this is sad, have they not left Huck. because Huck can't lead the way? Yeah. Their leader is stuck in a fence. Their leader isn't leading. And he's not able to lead. All right, let me get up and I've about finished my coffee anyway. I don't think you're going to have help today. Not from that no, one. No help from this one. <laughs>morning folks lester here and uh do you ever feel like you're a part of that movie i think it was called groundhog day where things kept repeating themselves over and over and over and over um there's been several movies made about scenarios like that today i'm here in the shop and what i'm going about to do is i got me a piece of pvc pipe and I'm gonna cut this so we can get Mr. Huck another stick of shame. Uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit longer than last time. Oh my gosh. Well, not with this battery. Y'all cover your eyes. All right, that's about a foot long. And uh, that's what we're gonna take to, well, that will be our next stick of shame. All right, so we have all that we need to get Mr. Huck set up to hopefully prevent him from continuing to get his head stuck in our fences. Poor little guy. Uh, once again, Carl, you know, we've let Carl out with the goats, but Carl has, he's starting to calm down a little bit, and I don't think he's going to harass or mess with me as much as what he has before. Let me set my camera up, and I'll try to get Mr. Huck out of the, his predicament. Hey, sweetie, there's our bearded lady. Hi, bearded lady. Jamie trimmed her beard, but she... <laughs> For everyone who thinks this is cute and this is funny, it's actually not. It's not fun for him and it's not fun for me. It's, uh, it could be very dangerous. And so you have to prevent things like this. And then we've, we've battled back and forth with the best way to prevent it. And I've talked about how it's not feasible some of the things that people suggest that we do. Number one suggestion, which gets a little bit tiring, is the fact that they think we should put chicken wire around our entire 10 acre pasture. That includes all of our cross fencing. And that would never work here. Chicken wire is paper thin, guys. It tears up so easily. Hucky, I need you to turn your head the same way you turned to get it in there. If he would turn his head the same way he turned it to get it through there, we could get it out a little easier. But that's the crazy thing. He can do all those contortion type things when he wants to, but not when I need him to. So another thing people keep suggesting is to put a wooden panel over on the goat side. And guys, once again, you're looking at probably 300 panels what I have to do is push them down a little bit. Push back, Huck. 
push your head back. If you, see, and then secondly, if I could go inside there with him and pull him, it's easier. You can pull a goat. You can't push one. No one understands that. And I can't go inside because Carl's in there. So I have to sit here and just work with him, hoping to get him to turn his head one way or the other. What you can't do is push his head down where he ends up choking himself or strangling himself, cutting off his airflow. But you gotta twist his head at enough of an angle. This is probably painful for you guys to watch, but listen, he's not screaming and hollering. Oh, Mr. Huck. Well, and then sometimes you get so frustrated and you're like, I should just go cut the wire. I should just go cut the wire. But if you begin to cut the wire, everywhere a goat sticks his head through to make larger holes, then you're inviting animals, predator type animals into their pastures. Huck, you almost smashed my finger. He actually did smash it. This might be the hardest I've ever had to work here because uh, as far as getting him unstuck. You know what? He's not helping me. He's not helping me at all. You're not helping me one bit. You know that, right? I hope this next stick of shame makes you feel really embarrassed for, for being so naughty. Let me show y'all what's going on here. Everybody else has come by to look. They came to help. They want to help. They all want to help Mr. Huck out of his predicament. But now, this is something that me and Mr. Huck got to do. And we do it about three times a day, every day. But the crazy thing is we didn't do this forever. We didn't do this the entire winter. Jamie has this bright idea that Mr. Huck does it because he wants attention. He wants attention, so he puts his head to the fence for attention because that's the only way you get in there and love on him. Guys, that's not true. We get in there and love on him all the time. Uh, and even if we don't go inside and put hands on each and every one of them, we're around all the time. That's like saying your dogs chew up things because they want attention. Dogs actually might do that. Dogs actually might shoot things up for attention. Look at Huck now. That's what he always does. Out of his embarrassment, he runs to the roll of hay, whatever we have out for hay, and he begins to eat like he's starving. Yeah, like nothing. Carl, I'm coming inside. I'm gonna need you to allow me to come inside. I could pull Huck outside with me. But if I pull Huck outside with me, you know who's gonna go crazy because she likes to chase everything. Carl, can daddy come inside? I like seeing Carl with this. There we go. That's the posture you wanna watch right there. That's not an aggressive posture. That's Mr. Uh, Carl saying, okay, but just don't hurt any of my friends here. And I'm not, I'm not gonna hurt anybody, Carl. I'm not gonna hurt anybody. Mr. Huck, you have an appointment with this PVC pipe. We know what we're doing here. We've been here a couple of times. I am keeping my eye on Carl. I should have had my tape already cut, but I, it's harder than what you think. Huck, stop resisting. I want it to be even on both sides or as close as possible anyway. All right, Mr. Huckies. There we go. You don't like that noise? Uh-uh, come on. Ugh. Come on, Mr. Hockey. All right. This is pretty blue tape, Mama. It's pretty and blue. That's pretty and blue. Bright blue. Uh-oh. Got help coming in. 
Uh oh. Somebody cueing the Rambo music. All right, it's not pretty, but it will work. Come look. Everybody look how pretty Mr. Hockey is. There we go, he's a good boy. All right. <laughs> Mr. Hawk. Old man Huck gets a stick of shame. <laughs> Beverly, be sweet to Mr. Hawk. Don't make fun of him. He can still do all the things that goats have to do. It's not so long that he can't get out of his little doggy door. Look, oh, oh, he can still do that. Look who's jealous, babe. It's also not sharp, so it can't be weaponized or anything. All right. Why did that make me breathe hard? Leaning over that long <laughs> made me lose my breath. That's pretty bad, Jamie, when I leaned over for five minutes. Well, actually, I leaned over for five minutes over here <laughs> and five more. That's really 10 minutes. I bet most of y'all can't lean over for 10 minutes and not get up breathing hard. That's one heck of a watering system we got there. Well, they are weird and they like different things. That's not very Longhorn Lestris, you do know that. No, not the very Longhorn Lestris. Uh, the fact that our metal troughs are all dented. That's what the Longhorn Lestris. Look at Brady now coming over to test out the new. I think they all want a stick. Oh. All right, everyone follow Mr. Huck. There goes your leader off to the woods. Look at that. They were all waiting for him to go, babe. Is it too wide for him to go through? We're going to find out. I love that. They were all waiting for Mr. Huck, their leader. <laughs> their leader. <laughs> he made it. They were all waiting for Mr. Huck to lead them. To God's greenness. They, wouldn't leave without it. they would not leave. No, no man left behind is, is their motto. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.